So over the 10 years that I work and travel as a digital nomad, I tried so many items, bags, clothes, tech, cameras, all were trying to pack light. So in this video, I wanna show you how I narrow it down to these items. So let's go to my current digital nomad packing list. You can see my full digital nomad packing list on the Pack Hacker website. Every single item that I'm gonna mention is gonna be here. And Pack Hacker, it's a community-based company full of travel gear resources. I got to meet Tom and the team in their Detroit headquarters. It was such a fun time. They have several packing list compilations, like their own digital nomad packing list, and also lists made by their members, as they have a tool to create your own packing list. And it's so easy. You just check the item that you want out on your list. Just click here, and you can slowly start building your own as the one that I have, and you can easily drag and drop if you want to organize the way that you want. So sign up right now for the free packing list tool on the links that I'm going to put down below so you can start creating your own packing list. And thank you Pack Hacker for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's start with the bags. And one of my main rules of traveling is that I never check in the luggage, even with my filmmaking gear, because 99% of the time I just don't need to. So this one goes on the overhead compartment and this one goes under the seat. So I'm using the Pack Travel Backpack as my main bag for my clothes and a few accessories. I already made a full video about it but it's just such an amazing bag of course one of the cool things is that it opens in half you can see here it also has a set of packing cubes that i use for all my clothes so it's such a handy way to carry all my things i also have the packable tote bag from packed it's just an amazing small tote bag that i use usually for my grocers and things like that for my everyday bag i'm using the wonder provoke light it has a capacity of 11 liters they even have other ones of 21 31 i tried the 21 liter for a while that's why you can see that on my videos i ended up using this one because it has enough space for all my gear my tripod camera and also my laptop my everyday wallet is the chum surf shirt and i like it because it has two compartments one for my cards and my id and the other one for cash because you never know especially in asia you still need some cash so it's good to have space just to put all your money for the other credit cards and my passport i have the zero grid passport wallet it has enough space to put some cards the credit card and when you close it down it has the rfid blocking system so all your credit cards are not trackable now let's talk about clothes starting with the shirt and i've been trying to find the perfect shirt for so long and i ended up liking this one from the company western rice it's called the session t it's a micro mesh fabric that is lightweight, odor resistant, and it actually looks good. I like it so much that I have four of them. I have three in black, these two plus one that I'm wearing right now. I have like a white version, but it's called the ash color. And I even have a hoodie one that is called the Session Sun. It's the same material, but this one has long sleep and a hoodie. And to change a little bit from the Western Rite clothing, I have this shirt that is from the company Bluff Work. It's the Threshold Crew neck t-shirt, and it's so soft. I mainly use it, you know, like to sleep. It's kind of like my pajamas, but sometimes to go out because the color is actually really good. And the only thing that I haven't explained you about, it's the Airlight shirt from Western Rite. It's a lightweight, good looking shirt. It's just one of my favorites. For my bottom clothing, I'm also using Western Rice. This is the Evolution Pants 2.0. It's lightweight, it looks good, and it's just one of the best pants that I ever used. Like I have two of them. This one is the one that I'm using right now. I don't use jeans anymore. I think they're like heavy and everybody use the same blue jeans. I just love to have these lightweight black and stylish pants, you know? But when it's hot, I use shorts and I have this one from Western Rice called the Boundless Shorts. They're like good looking. You can actually take them for swimming too. They're lightweight and four-way stretch, just the same as the pants. But if I actually go running or go surfing or just trade for some sport activities, I have this one from the same company. It's called the Movement Shorts from Western Rice lightweight gray gray then they're quick right i also have a few things for the cold weather starting with the buff neckwear it's one of the best ones because it's lightweight easy to use and so comfortable to have it on the neck i also have like a lightweight sweater this is the adapt quarter seat from western rice thin very easy to use so i'm just gonna wear it right now but when it gets really really cold i have this one from western rice is the air love jacket really really great great jacket like it's like temperature regulating it looks really good too i can also put the hood on if it gets really really cold you know so i 
I don't know what Adidas. <laughs> My favorite boxer for so many years are the ex officio give and go boxer brief. I mean, they're lightweight, they look good, and they're also quick dry. And I have a few of them, I have four, I have different colors just to recognize which ones have I used and I haven't. I'm using these socks from a company called Cariloja. They're specialized in bamboo, so it's like bamboo socks and they're like so soft and so easy to use for, and like when it's hot, when it's cold, like it's such a good, you know, like temperature regulating system. Oh wait, and the socks that I'm wearing, they're from Western Rice. They're called the Strong Core Merino socks. This is the only pair of Merino clothes that I use. I try not to use them because first I'm itchy, but somehow with the socks I'm not. And second, because I don't want to use any animal-based clothing. For so many years, I've been using barefoot shoes because they have little padding and very small sole. They're actually flexible, so it's easy to, you know, pack and also just to use. I love using barefoot because you feel more grounding. So I have three pairs. These one are more like my casual ones called the Wildling Fly Fox shoes. They are really cool, they look pretty cool. And yeah, usually more when I go out. And then I have my everyday shoes that I use for walking, running, all the things. And you can see now that they're very well used. They're about to break, so I need to buy new ones. So these one are called the Primus Trail 2 FG Men's Shoes from Bebo Barefoot, that's a mouthful. But they're really cool too, they're also very flexible. And a lot of people ask me about these sandals. These are my favorites, called the Warrior from Shama Sandals. Again, barefoot, very thin. They use like these vibrant shoes. So it's just like one of the best, best shoes that I, I, I get sometimes compliments. I'm using these foldable sunglasses from Rope and I really, really love these sunglasses. You can see how easy you can just pack them and unpack them. And man, like they're such a good quality. The lens itself is amazing. They have different shades. They have a whole website. You can check all of them. This is the purse I had from Western Rice and it's amazing to travel or hike because you can pack it like that and you know, it keeps the shape and it actually looks really good. Like I'm using the Adventure Belt from Arcade and I like it a lot because the buckle is plastic. So you don't have to worry when you go through the airport security and it's also adjustable. And yeah, so easy and so lightweight to use, you know? Also, I'm not counting these accessories that I'm wearing. I just bought them from a company here in Bangkok, Thailand. It's called Exodia Air. It's pretty cool, but it's not easy to find. So for the tech year, I'm mainly using Apple. It's been more than 12 years that I only use Apple stuff. And right now I'm using the MacBook Air M1. It's such an amazing laptop. It's, you know, it's so thin, it's powerful. I've been able to edit with this Mac. And yeah, it does everything that I need. It only has two USB-C uh, slots, but really I don't need that much. And the only dongle that I use is for the SD, but it's ju just when I need to transfer files. But after that, and I used to have the root stand, the keyboard and the mouse for the proper ergonomics, but as a proper minimalist, I've been trying just to use the laptop. And if I have a good posture and I don't have to hinge down at all, I think it's not that bad. Now this MacBook has already one terabyte space, but as I'm recording a lot, I need way more. And I'm taking with me a Samsung portable SSD, the T7. And I also got this in charge cable that is very small and it has the USB-A and lining just in case, but I usually use it just to connect my hard drive. I'm using the latest iPhone as of now, which is the iPhone 14 Pro. And the main reason is because the camera is amazing. And it's like my second camera. I have my main one, which I'm gonna talk about that later. And I don't use any case for the phone because I actually like the feel of the phone itself. And I barely drop it, so it maintains this quality. So I prefer just to keep it like that, to be honest. And I recently got the Apple Watch Ultra. I haven't tested it yet, but it's good for diving. And also, cause it's the biggest one, it has such a good battery. Like it, it can last for one or two days without me charging. And I got the AirPods Pro 2 that have the speakers where like if you lose them, they can make a sound, which that's amazing. And even each one of the pods, I actually lost one of them recently. And I was able to find it with the Find My app and also with the sound. So these with the watch, the iPhone and the Mac, all the Apple ecosystem, like once you are in into it, it's so hard to leave, you know? And I got this pouch from the company Air that is called the Split Kit, where I can actually put all of these cables just here. For charging my devices, I also have this rule of only using USB-C. Most of my devices, I think 99% of them, they're only USB-C. So I got this Anchor Power Port 3, that it's 65 watts and it has two ports, only USB-C. And I got these two cables as of now. 
It's an anchor bio-based cable that is flexible and so easy to use. And I love that it has this uh, thing to wrap the cable. Now, the only thing that I don't like about Apple is that they're still using lightning for some of the devices. So I got my cable, especially for the MagSafe Duo, because I like to charge my iPhone through the wireless charging and also my Apple Watch Ultra all over there. So it's a pretty handy way to charge them. I also carry with me a portable charger. This is the Pixie Go that has 10,000 milliamp hours. And it also has this wireless charging. This is amazing for the iPhone. And also has a USB slot when I wanna charge all the things. I carry this universal travel adapter from Kickerland because sometimes you don't know where you're going around the world. You need some kind of different outlets. So you have the European, you have the from the UK, from Asia. I like to carry with me a Nintendo Switch. This is the OLED version because as a gamer, whenever I have free time, I like to play some of the many games that they have. Like it is one of the perfect consoles to travel with. And I also have this TomTok carrying case, which is the perfect size for the Nintendo Switch. And of course, I also carry some AirTags with me because it's good to have all your things tracked and you never know what could happen. So I have a few with me. So now let me show you all my toiletries that I take with me. And everything is TSA compliant, so it's very easy to go through the airport. So first, this is the Big Design wash pouch. It has enough space to put everything that I'm gonna show you here. And it has this organization, so it's very easy to put every single thing. I'm using the Crystal Mineral Deodorant Stick because it naturally fights all the other bacteria and it's so small and packable. I have a solid cologne from a company called Okobobo and it's so easy to use. Just rub a little bit on your finger, put it on your neck and then you smell good. I have this carbon fiber number two from Chicago Com. You can see how small and easy it is to use and anytime that I want to just shave my curls, that's the way to go. I have this travel razor from Parker Safety and it's so small, such a good quality and it used the same, you know, head from the Gillette match you can buy anywhere. So it's such a handy and easy razor to travel with. This is the Swiss Army Nair Clippers from Victorinox and I love how small it is and how easy to use. You see, like you can cut your nails so easily and it's stainless steel, so it can last for so long. This is the stainless steel slant tweezer from Tweezer Man. Also very small, very easy to take any of the hair from your nose, things like that. I'm using the gravel travel liquid bottles. You can see the shape compensates, it's very easy to pack. I'm using one for my toothpaste and one for my conditioner for my hair. From the matter of company, I use this flat pack soap bar. So you can put any soap that you're currently using, like after you take a shower, you just wrap it up here and it will maintain any of the liquids or the residuals that the soap has. So it's perfect to travel with. I also have the flag pack toiletry bottle. This is mainly for my shampoo. So you see it's plenty enough for a few days or weeks, you know. I have this waterproof travel canister. I can put some pills or things that I, you know, like some medicines, things like that. And it's so small, so lightweight. And the travel earplugs kit from Matador, like you never know when you are like in a train or you wanna sleep as you have a very noisy Airbnb. Well, I have this one just in case. And as of now, I'm using just a normal toothbrush because I haven't been into the electronic one, so I'm not gonna count it on my list. I carry with me a towel, but this is a very, very ultra-like towel from Matador. Sometimes I need it, sometimes when I go out, you know, for surfing or things like that. So small, so easy to pack and unpack, so it's good to have. Now I'm gonna tell you a few other interesting items that I have, and this is the Eclipse Flexible Water from Bapur. As you can see, like it becomes very small when you don't need it. I have a rain fly for my pack travel backpack only when it gets like really, really rainy and I need to protect everything. Another item from Matador, this is the Pocket Blanket 2.0. I love this one, especially when I go to the beach or just wanna lay down on the grass. As you can see, it's very small, but when you expand it, it has enough space for one to two persons usually. And I have this matter or stuff sack. It's the size of a droplet. And it's good when I want to take care of my equipment, my camera, things like that when I'm close to the water. So it's just a very small handy thing to have. So now let's talk about my filmmaking gear. It's something that a lot of people have been asking me. And I consider that I have four cameras. The first one is the main one that I'm using right now there. It's a Sony A7C. It's a full frame camera and to be honest, for the size, it's such a great camera. I pair it with the shotgun microphone ECM B10. It's small, powerful, and it has all these features so you can have like better quality. And also I use this Tamron 17 to 28 millimeters with aperture of 2.8. This is the main tripod that I use with the camera. It's the Siri 3T35K. 
And if I connect the camera, which is very easy to do, you can see some of the features, for example, it becomes like a very easy tripod, but also it can become like a selfie tripod. Just lock it here. There you go. My second tripod is the Pick Design Travel Tripod. It's the carbon fiber one. It's a bit expensive, but to be honest, it's one of the best tripods that I ever had. And it's also very easy to connect to the camera. You can see here. And it's also very easy to expand. You just take these levers out. And there you go. I got this variable MD filter from Moment whenever I need some stops for the light. I got the Pick Design light strap. You can connect easily to the camera with these handles over here. This is the camera clip. As you can see here, I can just put the camera and it doesn't fall at all. And also I have the Pick Design camera cuff that you just use one of the handles over here and it also doesn't fall at all. I got this dual charger for my Sony batteries. I can put two and it's also USB-C. The second camera that I use is the iPhone 14 Pro. But this one is so good for, you know, moving around because the gimbal, like the stabilization, it's amazing. The third one is an action camera and I'm using right now the Insta360 for different kind of setups. I have the tripod over here that I can just like extend that over here and I can use it when I'm on the scooter, when I'm walking, like different kind of shots. It's very interesting. At the same time, I'm still using the GoPro. This is the Hero 8. This is sometimes when I'm surfing, when I need like diving, a few things here and there, it still works well, but I'm like in between those two, to be honest. And I'm usually using mostly the Insta360. And my fourth one, it's an aerial camera, which is the drone. I have the Mini 3 Pro. I'm using the Fly More combo with the control that has its own screen, so you don't have to depend with the iPhone anymore. And I have the three batteries with the charger. I can actually just um, put it in this BIOS camera nine insert from Temba. It works perfectly here. Like it's so easy to set it up here and tip it down. And there you go. I'm using the DJI wireless mic when I want to record from far away. It's such a great setup. You can charge everything here. It has two transmitters, the receiver you can put on the camera or even in the iPhone. And I usually like to hide the microphone, so I use this Lavalier Go from Rode. For my voiceovers, I'm using this microphone that is USB-C. It's the Video Mic Go 2 from Rode. And I just use this stand and I use this Ulanzi M208. And because it's USB-C, it's so easy to connect to the computer and start doing my voiceover. I also have this camera cleaning kit from VCGO. It just comes in handy when you need to clean the camera. And I put everything, the, mi the microphone and this cleaning and all the things from my camera in the Element Tech case from Alpaca. So yeah, this is my whole digital nomad packing list. As you can see, there's a few of everything, clothes, electronic, toiletries so if you want to buy anything that i recommend just check the link down below my packing list is going to be in pack hacker and i'm also gonna update it here and there because i'm also trying to find new things so i think i'm gonna make this video every single year and lastly pack hacker can give you 20 percent discount if you want to get through their pro member that gives you discount to any of this company so it's a lot of savings just check the link down below and if you like this one let me know put that in the comment all right see you bye